Okay, so this is problem number five from chapter three. We have two different um, sets of resistors connected in various ways, and we need to find the equivalent resistance seen from point A B. And over here, so the first thing we have to do is handle the parallel connection here. So that is equal to one over five plus one over twenty. And we do that. Hello. Um, my calculator's tweaking out with me right now. Okay, here we go. So one fifth plus one twenty inverse. This is equivalent to four. So you redraw the circuit and replace that with a four. And once you do that, then it just, you have 10 in series with 4, in series with 6, and that is 20. So R, A, B is 20 ohms. Um, on this one, it's a little bit more, more complicated. Just take it one at a time. I mean, if you want to, what you want to do is, um, go from here and then back. When you get more sophisticated or when you get more experienced doing it, you'll see right away that this is 30K in parallel with 60K in series with 20K, which is in series with 200K in parallel with 50K. But when you're just starting, do one simplification at a time. This one first. 200K in parallel with 50K is 1 over 200K plus 1 over 50K inverse. So 1 divided by 200 plus 1 divided by 50. 1 divided by 200 plus 1 divided by 50. That's going to give us 40K. And I feel good about that number because when you're looking at parallel connections, the, par the new resistance should be less than the lowest number. So it's less than 50, so I feel good that I didn't make a mistake. So replace that in your circuit for me. So what is the relationship of this board, the new relationship? Well. The 40 is, um, the 60 is parallel, well let's just do one at a time since we're learning a new skill. So we see that 20 and 40 are in series. So we have 20 in series with 40, that's going to give us 60, okay. Now, replace that. Now we have 60 in parallel with 60. One skill that you should automatically know is when you have like the same resistance connected in parallel, the new resistance is one half. But convince yourself until you get comfortable by actually putting that in, the, in your calculator. And sure enough, it's 30. So this is equal to 30. You should master that or remember that because in an exam, you could, you, I mean, it's, instead of doing this, just saying, oh, they're the same and they're connected in parallel, therefore the equivalent resistance is half, it's going to save you a ton of time and not to mention you won't make calculator errors, you will eliminate that. This is 30 and, of course, we already know that like they are connected in parallel, therefore, it's going to be one half, right? And so, the final equivalent resistance, RAB, is 